Hi guys, Greg at Panels R Us. Late last night I published a video entitled How to Configure a Virtual Matrix with FPP um, and x -Lights. And I thought I'd done all the configuration correctly, um, but it would appear I missed some new functionality in x -Lights that I hadn't noticed. Um, I hadn't seen it arrive and I didn't know to look for it. Um, but I was picked up on it this morning by Dan Culp, um, the lead developer of FPP and a contributor to x -Lights. So before everything got too old, I wanted to record a quick update to have you guys um, see the differences and, and to learn the differences myself so that we're teaching the best practice um, here in the UK going forwards. So if I look at my instance of Falcon Pi Player, uh, what Dan said is um, that we can configure the input side and X lights automatically without having to go through working out channels and that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to go back into my channel inputs. Here we go. And this is the one we set up um, on my video last night. So I'm just going to delete this, uh, this input. There we go, that's gone, so we can save that and restart FPPD. And I've now got a fresh setup of x so I've changed folder uh, to give some an empty setup. So we can now test the discover button that Dan has pointed out. So I've got a completely empty x set setup, as you can see, uh, in terms of controllers and layout. So I'm going to click on the Discover button now. And the first time I've ever done this, so we'll see what happens now. So it's now looking for an unlisted controller. And he's absolutely right. Look at this. We have got now an instance of FPP, VM test, that's our one. It's set it up with DDP, which it thinks is the optimum protocol for this, with the address. Um, it's using uh, a named address as opposed to the IP. Uh, we'll see how that goes. One universe uh, for DDP and the correct number of channels. So let's save that. And now let's go and have a look at the Pi. Now I'll just refresh this page. Okay, so that's not set anything up in here. Uh, presumably because it's set up for DDP now as opposed to okay nothing set here so let's have a look then we'll continue with X lights um, I'm going to add my matrix as I did last night there we go there's my matrix so it was 116 uh, by 66 if I remember correctly move the piece of paper that's not on my desk anymore so that's helpful so let's just save that there we go let's save that we'll go into sequencer now and give me a second there we go that's done that that's set up um, do we need to push the config of that doesn't look like it okay let's look at the sequencer I'm going to do a new sequence. There we go, we're ready for that now. So I'm just going to drop a butterfly onto it, uh, as I did last night. I'll just drag that out, click on it, and we'll trigger output. And look at that. Now, that's working beautifully. Um, and the configuration was very, very fast. I didn't have to do very much at all. The only thing we've got different here is the, um, the butterfly is going the wrong way again, as it did last night, but that's my fault, because I didn't tell it in here to start top left. Um, Schoolboy error, there we go, top left, save. click there we go it's had a quick flip and there we go so it's now moving in the correct direction as I expected so there we are a very quick update um, 
I use the, the discover option. Let's turn it off. I use the discover option here in the controllers page of Xlights. It's had a quick look at the network, it's found this instance of FPP and it's configured it. Um, didn't need to do the E31, E131 stuff in either Xlights or in FPP, all done for us. So big kudos to, to Dan Culp and the rest of the developers. That is a, a cracking update, um, which I'd missed. Um, but hopefully now uh, we can pass that on nice and quickly uh, and you guys can take advantage of it too. Keep watching, thanks for the updates and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers.